Hi everyone and welcome with Cooking with the Canadian. Today we're going to make a special dessert. I'm going to be making mascarpone mousse with roasted strawberries. So let's get on this. Let's see how it's made and then we can taste it. All right. So let's get to it. So right now I have my dish. I have eight ounces of mascarpone cheese. That is soften at room temperature, okay? Room temperature. Then I have four ounces of cream cheese at room temperature as well, okay? I have four tablespoons of powdered swerve, okay? So icing sugar, and I use a swerve for this, okay? So I put it all in there, okay? And then I have one tablespoon of vanilla extract okay let's put all that in and we're gonna beat this now before i start beating this just to let you know that i have my strawberries in the oven right now and it's two cups of strawberries cut up into quarters i add two tablespoons of granular swerve and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and it's roasting at 375 for 25 minutes so that that's roasting so while that's roasting we'll get this all ready all right so now that i got everything in here we're going to beat this up and we're going to mix this make sure it's incorporated very well and nice and creamy and and smooth. That's how you want it. Guys, tell me what you think of my videos. Let me know. Also, share with your friends. Subscribe. Share it. If you have any anything you guys want me to make, please let me know. I'll be glad to do it. I'm also going to be doing something different coming up in the next few weeks. I'll let you guys know soon enough. Okay. So we're going to incorporate this things. All right. So we got this. It's all nice incorporated and incorporated nicely. Okay, so now I'm gonna give this a rinse really quick because I have to mix in my other ingredients and I need this. So now what I got is one cup of whipping cream, okay, and two tablespoons of powdered swerve okay we're gonna put this in here all right and we're gonna beat this up until it comes to stiff peaks okay and this the cream should be at Right out of the fridge, not room temperature, right out of the fridge. The colder, the better. When the milk is uh, too warm, it won't incorporate and you won't get good stiff peaks. This is a nice, easy dessert that you can make when friends come over you have those strawberries you don't know what to do all you need is two cups it's not much and then you roast them and then when we incorporate all this nicely together then you put the strawberries right on top and nice beautiful delicious dessert This is almost done. You could do with any kind of
kind of fruit. I do it with strawberries. I like strawberries. You can do them with blueberries. Now just remember, blueberries are going to be a little bit sweeter. So don't use too much of the swerve. The powder swerve is very sweet. And one serving of this is really five net carbs. It's got, that's about it, just five net carbs and it's got 37 grams of fat. So all you keto lovers that you're looking. All right, so now my whipped cream is done, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna put the whipped cream inside the mascarpone cheese and we're gonna fold it in. So I'm gonna just take half of it first and we're gonna take it from the bottom and we're just gonna incorporate it nicely. Now, with this, once this is done, you can pipe, put it in a bag and pipe it in a cup and in a dish, how you want it. For me, it doesn't matter, I like to spoon it. You know, if you were having company, you want to be a little bit fancy. Yes, you can pipe it in the into the bag. Okay, so we're going to put the rest of it in here. Now, this has to get incorporated really good. So into the mascarpone cheese. Now, I love mascarpone cheese. I like to put it anywhere. I have a recipe for nice non-keto it's non-keto but i have a nice recipe for non-keto pasta dish with mascarpone cheese which i'm going to put it up for all the non-keto people because i know some people have asked me do we do anything that's non-keto i don't but i will do it for the my friends who are on not on keto so they can have it and try it and uh, enjoy it okay um like i said i'm helping out a lot of people on keto I've been on keto for two years now. I love the food. I love the taste. It's so easy once you get on it and once you try it and stuff. It's it's fantastic. You know, being on it for almost two years, losing over 50 pounds, been on it for, you know, so, so long that it becomes a, a naturalist for me. Like, it's just natural. I don't miss the pasta. I don't miss the breads. Um... The one good thing about it is I don't I don't take any more prescription pills because of it and for me that's just what I need at my age being a beautiful age of 52 um, not being on any medication is great so for me that's fantastic so here we go it's nice incorporated my strawberries should be almost done I'm just going to take a quick look at my strawberries to see. They're almost ready. So, I'm going to get a couple of beautiful dishes. So, all right, I'm going to get my spoon. Okay, and we're going to just dollop some of it in here. Okay, it doesn't have to be pretty. Now, if I had a bag, I would make it pretty. At the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not doing it to make it pretty, but if I had company over and I wanted to do something special, yes, then I would definitely make this nice and pretty. I'm going to get my strawberries from the oven. Now, there you go. You got beautiful strawberries, nice and tender. See? Beautiful. And it gives you that nice juice. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to pour some of this just on top. Okay. And then I'm going to take some of this juice and just slowly just pour it onto the dish. 
So there you have it. A beautiful mascarpone mousse with roasted strawberries. Guys, keto can be fun. Keto can be great. It's just knowing what you can eat. So, subscribe down there. Share with your friends. And anything you guys want to know, let me know. If you want me to make you something, just comment below and I'll do it for you. Again, it's Cooking with the Canadian. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you.